Hello and welcome to a new Python coding challenge video. I hope you're feeling Christmassy because today I will show you how to generate pairs of names for Secret Santa. If you haven't attempted the challenge yet, make sure to check out my introduction video by clicking on the banner in the top right hand corner of your screen. Also, make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. It's completely free and would help to bring the joys of coding to many more people. Now though, let's get on with the solution. As you can see, I have imported two libraries, NumPy, which we all know, and Random, which allows us to make random selections. Also, we have our list of names, which, remember, you can substitute with a list of your own friends and family. Now the way we are going to tackle this problem and create the pairs of names required to play Secret Santa will be by creating a second list of names which we will generate by randomly scrambling the names we have in our primary list. So we can call this second list presents and we can say that this is equal to rand.sample of names comma len of names. What this does is take a random sample of elements from our list of names, but since the length of the random sample is equal to the length of the list of names, our sample will be none other than a scrambled version of our primary list. Now some of you might think that that is a solution and that our challenge is over. However, we have to remember that nobody should have to buy themselves a present. So we have to check that no name in the second list has the same index as it has in the first list. There are many ways to do this, but I've chosen to use a neat property of NumPy arrays, which allows me to write as follows np.array of names equals np.array of presence. What this does is it compares each element in one array to the element with the same index in the second array, and for each comparison it returns true if they are the same and false if they are different. We now need to determine if any of the comparisons return true as this would mean that at least one person would have to buy themselves a present, and hence that our presents list is not correct. We can do this by writing numpy.array of everything we wrote before dot any, and all of this we can set as being equal to check underscore self underscore present. What this means is that if all the names have been scrambled correctly, the check self present variable will return false. Otherwise, if even a single name is in the same position in both lists, the check self present variable will return true. Now while the check self present variable is true, we have to reshuffle the presence list and recalculate the check self present variable. We can do this easily using a while loop, for which we can say while check self present, in other words, while the variable check self present is true, and then we can simply copy and paste the two lines we wrote earlier. If this syntax is unclear to you, or you would like to learn more about while loops, make sure to check out my tutorial video on while loops. I'll leave a link to it in the banner above and in the video description. Now that we have our original list of names and our correctly scrambled list, we can go ahead and print the results in a neat fashion. We can do this by saying pairs equals names i 
comma presence i for i in range len names and then we can say for p in pairs print f string of p0 buys a present for p1. Now we can run our code by pressing the F5 key and here are our pairs of names. As you can see, the rules of Secret Santa have been obeyed. We have that each person buys only one present and each person only receives a single present. Also, nobody is buying themselves a present. With that, we have come to the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this Christmas theme challenge, and if you did, you can check out my other challenges by clicking on the link in the top right hand corner of your screen or in the video description. Also, Christmas is a time for families to join together, so why not subscribe to the channel and become a part of the Coding Specs family? Having said that, I look forward to seeing you in the new year, and until then, I wish you all happy holidays and, as always, happy coding!